Hi guys, it's Misty and Kim again from Mimi's Wig Boutique in Dallas, Texas. We are going to talk to you today about our favorite wig myths. We hear all kinds of things from all kinds of people. We watch videos. There's all kinds of information out there, good and bad. So we picked a few of the favorite things that we've heard um, and we are going to tell you what the myth is and tell you what the right information is. So. Well, let's get started. Okay. Um, these are the most common. We hear some crazy stuff. and Maybe we'll do a whole video on just the crazy well, stuff. Well, first, let's talk about our wigs. Oh, okay. yeah. We both have on Ignite from John Renault. We have on the Palm Springs Blonde, which is FS17101 S18. So it's got um, really pretty blonde, low light and highlight, super light. Um, and we have the same wig on and we look totally different. That's one of the things that we get asked all the time. Why does the wig look different on her than it does on me? And we all have different face shapes. We uh, love to do this. Yeah. Because it kind of throws people off too. I mean, in, we tried to wear all black and our lipstick even looks the same. So we're trying to do everything and it just looks totally different. Mine's more rounded out because my face is more round than Kim. Um, it's just... Well, and my inspiration for this, one of my really good friends just got this wig. She's That's going right. through chemo beautiful lady on the inside and out um, and so she got this wig and so then I kept looking at her and I was like she looks so cute she looks so cute I just have to have that wig so little wig in the I know I know the time yeah I was jealous so I had to I wanted to look as cute as Tina yes. but I don't Shout out okay. Tina. well let's just start with wig myth number one um we hear this all the time people will call or come in and say well, I don't really, I'm not going through chemo, or I have hair, can I wear a wig? So they think that they can't wear wigs if they have hair. Right. Or they, or they, they come in and they say, well, I'm not sick. Well, you don't have to be sick. You just want to have pretty hair. And we it both matter. have a full head full of hair. Mm -hmm. And we wear wigs because the truth of it is, it's just easy and convenient. And, you know, pardon our phone. <laughs> but um, it's just easy. And I can put it on. My hair takes a while to do. This takes literally like 45 seconds. Right, right. You just flip it on and go. So whatever your situation is, we have hair for you. There is a, there's a hairstyle for you. If you think you can't wear long, you think you can't wear short, you just come in and you try it on. And try it. We encourage you to try lots of different styles because you might be surprised what looks best on you and you would have thought, I would never be able to wear that. Mm -hmm. I guess the only disclaimer I would make about that is that if you have super long, thick hair, um, it may be a little bit more difficult to get it all up under the cap, but for the most part, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You got hair, you got no hair, wigs are good either way. All right, then we get told, oh, well, if I wear a wig all the time, it's going to make my hair thinning worse or it's going to damage my hair. My hair is going to fall out. That is not true. We both wear wigs all the time. We've done it for years. Um, That's how I grew my hair out. Right. My hair was literally this haircut, exactly this yeah, haircut. Yeah, it was. And now it's down to here. I mean, so I just, I put a wig on almost every single day until I had a ponytail. And then I went from there. Yeah, in fact, my hair's about down there. In fact, well, we had customers in here two days ago. They had never seen my hair before. And it was more shocking for them to see my hair than to ever see me in a different wig. So it was In fact, she said, she didn't mean it like she said, but she's like, oh, go put a wig on. Because she just didn't recognize Kim. <laughs> right, right. So, anyway, it's not going to, it's not going to damage your hair. Um, the, okay, this next one we hear all the time this is texas i lived in west texas for a long time the winds are crazy and so the common misconception or myth is that if i wear a wig in the high winds it's going to blow off <laughs> trust me i mean we had the best product ever i mean you can literally tug on this it's a yeah. wig grip so if you don't have hair your wig's going to fit you fine um if you have hair you will experience a little bit more slippage so you wear your wig grip and you can do whatever well, you can turn a cartwheel that's my whole used car salesman speech <laughs> that's what i sound like i'm like you can turn a cartwheel you can you know do whatever you want to do you can ride in a convertible and you'll never lose your wig because it's the truth and that worked out great until a lady did a cartwheel in the store Literally. well it, i mean that was fine i just didn't want her to get hurt but she was proving to the other customers that you really could do a cartwheel in your wig I and it won't fall i loved it because she was my <laughs> age and i can't do a cartwheel yeah, yeah, I mean, she did a beautiful cartwheel. I couldn't do a cartwheel when I was young. So we've actually witnessed that. Yes. All right. Um, oh, you can't wear a wig <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> okay. So wigs, um, <laughs> you can wear them in the rain. In fact, Saturday, we had a rainstorm here. It was coming down in sheets. And I didn't, re when I looked out, I didn't realize it was quite that bad. I literally got soaked to the skin. I mean, literally, I had to come change clothes. My dress was soaked 
all the way. Thankfully, we sell clothes here. Yeah, too. I was able to buy some clothes and <laughs> otherwise deal with it. I would have had to go home. But the thing is, wigs are not porous. So at first, you know, you're going to get that first layer of water on the outside, but the inside's still going to be dry and it's gonna dry extremely quickly. So my wig dried in about 15 minutes. It took my clothes all afternoon. Um, so you can wear it in the rain. Um, it's especially it like still misting. still looks good. Yeah, it still looks good. Misting, I wish we'd have taken pictures Saturday, but oh well, we forgot. We should have. Um, but if it's misting, your hair is gonna look good and nobody else's is. If it's humid, it's humid here all the time. Today it's humid. Um, and your wig's not gonna react the same way your hair does. So. Yes, you can wear it in the rain. Water's not going to hurt it. In fact, you've got to wash your wig anyway, so uh, water will never hurt your wig. Speaking of water, this is the next one. I hate this. I hate it so bad. Okay, many of you may already do this. I'm sorry. I'm not just trying to tell you you're wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you're wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, first of all, would you take something silk, something you spend a lot of money for, and just wash it in anything? Okay, the myth is you can just wash it in baby shampoo and throw it in a little downy and it take care of your wig. No, that's that's a myth. Okay, it may be okay for the first couple of times, but what you're gonna see, and we've seen it here over the years, is that eventually it's gonna create some sort of buildup or some product kind of thing. And your wig's not gonna look, I mean, right now, you see my wig is nice and have these kind of little flyaways like normal hair. When they start getting all that gunk built up on them, and that's what downy does. It starts looking like greasy hair. Can I hair. say downy? Okay. Yeah, it's or just, fabric softener. Yeah, fabric softener. Yeah. Um, so don't do that. If you are going to invest the money in a wig, why wouldn't you invest in a $12 bottle of shampoo and a $12 bottle of conditioner? I mean, to make that last longer. You would never buy an expensive item. Of, you would never buy a ball gown and throw it in the washing machine with some Tide. I mean, even though Tide may be the best. Or put so, it in the dishwasher. Wash it with dishwashing liquid. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a completely different product. So. Um, that's why they make different cleansing solutions for different fabrics. So if you're going to invest sense. in your hair, invest in the product. Same thing with your human hair. Yeah, I agree. So, all right, the next one is we get a lot of, we, uh, at our particular salon boutique, we only sell top quality synthetic. Um, but we hear a lot, oh, I only want the best. I want human hair. Um, I have a wig in every cap construction. I have one in every fiber they make. And I have three human hair wigs. I bought the human hair because I wanted to see what it's about. Well, they don't look nearly as natural as my synthetic. They tend to be heavier. They're hotter. The caps are not nearly as comfortable. And they are a pain. I mean, I can get my wigs done anytime I want. I have lots of people that are willing to help me with them. But when they do them, it's going to last for about an afternoon. It, it reacts just like my hair. So when it's humid, any of the curler styling that they've done, it just goes away. Um, and they're, they're, the sales is you can color them, you can highlight them, and you can. You can, uh, but can uh, I just interject that? Because with one of her wigs that we got, I'm not going to say who it was from, but I'm going to hear salts a long time. But, uh, we're going to have fun, we're going to color it, we're going to tone this. Mm -hmm. It just didn't react the same as far as when we went to lighten it out and tone it to give it a nice cool blonde tone. It really held a lot of that gold. So it's just, it's, well, maybe if you're going darker, or if you're changing the color a little bit, but it just wasn't as easy as they make it sound. Now, I did not buy virgin European hair at a $5,000 price point. And so if you're going to start out with that price point and get virgin European, I think the coloring is a little bit different. But most of, if you're going to get anything other than a black uh, wig that's just natural black hair, it's been processed. It has gone through a ton of different chemicals to give it whatever color it's coming out as. So if you think at that point you're going to color it some more, you, you can, but it's not going to react like regular hair on your head. And um, I'm not saying that that's not for some people, right? But for it is. Us. It is. It is. Some, lots of people swear by human hair. I just don't think they look any. I don't either. It's I, about finding the right wig for you, whatever and, and the fiber going is. Going back to the rain thing, I mean, just say, for instance, Saturday, <laughs> your wig had been human hair. <laughs> I would yeah, you would have had to have gone home, because I'm telling you, that's how heavy it was raining. But 15 minutes later, your hair was perfect yeah, again. it was. And, you know, you just, I don't even want to fix my own hair. Why would I want to fix my wig? No, that's why anyway. I wear wigs all the time. I don't want to do it. Okay, the next thing is, we kind of touched on this with styling. People think, oh, well, styling and caring for a wig, it's just too hard. Okay, first of all, that's just dumb. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't <laughs> say it that way. 
but it kind of is. Um, it's just so easy. You literally wash these things every two to three weeks, and that's if you're wearing it every single day. And that's a general 40-hour work week. I mean, obviously, you're not going to wash it as much if you only wear it a couple of hours a day. I have wigs I've had for years that I've never washed because I wear them a couple times a year. Um, then I have wigs that I, I, I love and I wear often, so I wash more often. So um, it, they're just easy. Wash them, condition them, air dry and you're ready to go again. And I think that really has grown out of the past. Because when, when my mom mm -hmm. opened the, the store, I was 14 years old, um, people brought their wigs in. You know, they had like the bubble hairstyle where they had to be- The football helmet? Yeah, they had to be wet set, just like your own hair. Well, the whole world has changed for a lot of different industries and wigs are no different. They're wash and wear, they're super simple. The style is baked in, it comes right back. Uh, and you don't have to do that. So I think I think that's probably where some of that came from. It's just it's just an old bit. Yep, we're busting it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting all day to say that. <laughs> we're a mid busting. Oh my gosh. Uh, we've right. only got one more. Okay, that we're going to cover today. A wig won't fit right on my head. Um, everybody has a different head shape, face shape. Uh, they're all wigs are adjustable. I don't care if you pay two dollars for it or two thousand. All wigs are adjustable. Mm -hmm. So there are remedies um, at our salon. We do a whole lot of different alterations to make sure the wig fits the person's head. Some people don't have a prominent occipital bone, and what that is, that's that bone back in the back of your head that has that hump there. And so sometimes it, it tends the wig tends to slide. There's remedies for that. We've talked before about wig grips. Um, than making different alterations as far as taking a tuck or um, I know that sometimes the Misty and some of the other girls have to actually cut the wig in half, free sew it back together. There, there are, if you go to a reputable salon that has master stylists, they will know how to deal with that and make sure that you have a wig that fits you and that will stay on your head. Um, the only, the hard part is if you have a really large head. Yeah, um, that is a little bit more tricky, but that's not beyond, you know, our scope either. You can stretch this, you can cut out some bands, you can do different things. The, the, when it boils down to it, find a wig salon that knows what they're doing and just let them take care of you. Because if they really know what they're doing and have done this for a while, they're going to have some remedies for you. Um, Another thing is they're really good, especially John Renault right now is really good about coming out with several large caps. Used to large cap when I first started, maybe there was two, and that's right. been about 10 years ago. Now there's, I don't know, may, not quite as many, maybe 10, but um, they're cute. Yeah, and I mean, some of them are even long, and they've come out with petite mm -hmm. and, long, and large in some of the longer styles, so there's solutions out there. You there are solutions, and that's also a good, um, solution for someone who doesn't really have a large head but has a lot of hair right and you don't want to cut your hair so there are solutions for everything that's right and yeah. it, don't be uncomfortable go to your wig salon say i have this one little thing and that'll be able to fix it for you and if you're in dallas come see us yes we yep. would love to meet you tell us you saw us on youtube and uh, you don't have to buy anything you don't have to buy anything come Just say hi come in say hi try some things on and look around and We'll be happy to meet you and show you the ropes. That's right. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like us on um, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Sub subscribe to our channel. And be sure to hit the little bell for your alert so you know when we do something new. We try to upload at least once a week. And we go live on Facebook every Wednesday. Correct. So, catch us there. Did you say that? No, I didn't say that. Okay. I don't listen. <laughs> Have a good week. Bye. Bye.